Uh, Mr. Secretary, last October, I led a letter, um, which I'm holding up here, along with my friend, Mr. Beyer, um, that was signed by 24 other members of Congress, including ranking member Grijalva and nine other members of this committee. It's dated October 3rd, 2017. It asked you to immediately disclose the full details of all of the privately chartered flights that you had taken. Mr. Chairman, I want to start by asking unanimous consent to enter the letter into the record. And you should look at what um, we've I'm, provided I'm sorry, I'm to. sorry, Mr. Secretary. If, if you let, let me just okay. finish. Um, it's without objection. Thank you. Um, so the letter that was written to you was as a result of reporting by the Washington Post, Politico, and numerous other sources. The reports included a $12,000 charter flight from Las Vegas, Nevada to Montana, taken last June aboard a plane owned by executives of a Wyoming-based oil and gas exploration firm, part of an industry whose permitting process you are tasked with overseeing. Now, these flights can give the appearance that you are mixing political gatherings and personal destinations with official business. Now, as the letter points out, these privately chartered flights appear to coincide with events held by political donors and speeches before private entities that share a personal connection with you. Um, again, this letter was sent on October the 3rd. Neither I nor Mr. Beyer have yet received a response. Mr. Secretary, it's just a yes or no question. Can I get a commitment from you that you will respond and provide information that we requested in the letter? Well, I can't speak for your ranking member, but I hold a note in response from me that's dated October 31st, 2017. So I would suggest you ask your ranking member to give you a copy of the letter okay. we sent. Mr. Secretary, and if you like, you, if you you like your, more detail on it, we also had a meeting Mr. which Secretary, I had with a ranking, to, ranking. Mr. Secretary, yeah. you used to be a member of Congress yourself. When you wrote a letter to a cabinet secretary, did you not expect the cabinet secretary to respond to your letter? October 31st. Is that letter to me? Is that responding to my letter, Mr. It is Secretary? To the ranking member and to the chairman of this okay, committee. Okay, I, I think you made as my As well point, as Mr. I had Secretary. a member, I opened a meeting. I reclaimed my time, Mr. Secretary. I'm not done with my line of questioning. And, you know, I just very nicely am trying to get a response to, to my letter that's directed at me. You know, I have a different office than the ranking member does. Um, and I, the reason I bring this up is because this is a pattern that's impossible to ignore, one that has the optics of the steward of our public lands allowing the concerns of political donors and the oil and gas industry to receive f further greater influence than those of the American people. And ex excessive spending, whether it's on this or a door, can I get a commitment that when I send you a letter, Mr. Secretary, you will respond to me in a timely manner to me as the member who wrote the letter? I would love to give you a commitment, and I wish you would give a commitment to me of courtesy. 